Hey guys, welcome to my first card as a design team member member for Not Too Shabby. This is Jamie's card. You can catch her at NotTooShabbyShop.com. She's also Scrappin' Stampers on YouTube. And U.S. orders over 60 ship for free, and she also has a reward program. You can also use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK, all one word, for 10% off your order. So this was the stamp set I chose for this month's design team projects, and it's called Lama Tell You by Gerda Steiner. So to get started, I'm taking this Polaroid frame, and I am marking off what is going to be showing once I put that frame on my card. And I'm taking some of the stamps from the stamp set, the little cacti, and inking up, kind of creating my own pattern paper. Um, I originally was going to color them, but I went ahead and decided to go ahead and leave them black, or uh, white, so it's a black and white background. And then I stamp my little hill. And then here I am taking another piece of paper, and this is Bristol Smooth cardstock I'm using with Memento ink. And I ink up my two images I'm going to use. So I take my card panel and I'm using my Prismacolors and I feel like each time I use my Prismacolors I get worse and worse. <laughs> so I cut a lot of this out of the video. Um, I was having a lot of issues. I was trying to use the blender pen but I ended up getting my Gamsol out. I just was not liking the results. So I stopped the camera and I just worked with it for a little bit and um, it, the result was fine. It came out a lot better once I worked with it. And I just enjoy the Gamsol so much better than the Blender uh, pencil. I think I said Blender pen, but I meant Blender pencil that comes um, with the Prismacolors. I just need to practice a lot with them. Um, so here I am cutting my little llama images. And here you can see me using my blending stumps. I am using the Gamsol. So you could at least see this coloring process since I cut out the... Um, other part. And I'm coloring this little llama. Uh, he, I wanted him mostly white but have a little gray area. So I'm using a light gray to color in a little shadow on his neck and then his face and then his little muzzle and little tuft of hair and then ears. I am using um, a darker gray. And then for my other little llama to the left, I am I looked at pictures of llamas before doing this, and I really like the reddish brownish color llama, so I, that's what I color him. And this stamp set will be the kind of stamp of the month for not too shabby my projects. Um, I do have other products from Jamie's shop that I will feature in my Valentine's Day series. But every Wednesday this month, I'm going to feature this stamp set and make um, a different card with the stamp set. It's just so cute. And I have to use those armadillos in something. <laughs> so go ahead and color him, finish him up. And um, this stamp set does come with coordinating dies. And Jamie does sell them in her shop. I did not get them but I may get them later on. Um, I did fussy cut these out and they were fine to cut out. It's just sometimes the dies are just so much easier. <laughs> I do take a black jelly roll pen and kind of touch up some areas that were dulled out by the pencils. And here on his snout, I had messed up. It's a straight line that goes from his mouth to lip. And I didn't make a straight line. So it's it worked out. It was fine. But it's not. The image changed a little bit, I guess. So I stamp up my sentiment on this little Polaroid frame. And the Polaroid frame has a gloss on it. So I was very careful not to smear the ink. In turn, me being careful... I didn't stamp the image completely. So here I'm taking an, an embossed pen by Ranger. It's black and I'm just kind of touching up some of the areas. I have a black and a clear one. It comes in a pack of two. Definitely very useful to have in your stash. I used the black so I could see it. 
and then go ahead and heat emboss the rest of that. I take a piece of black cardstock and attach it to my card panel. And then I take my little pattern paper panel design and go ahead and attach that to my card base. And then I take my frame and I knew my little red llama would be cut off. So I'm trying to see where I could place him. So my other llama has room and is not covering up the red llama. Um, if you like to do a lot of masking, um, I would have just stamped that red llama directly on the card. But I'd already stamped the hill, so I, I couldn't stamp him because the hill was stamped first and you have to stamp what's going to be in the foreground first and what's in the foreground is the llama so I went ahead and just adhered him flat to the card and I do take some foam tape and go ahead and put some foam tape all around my frame I forgot to darken up the edges with my memento marker so it looked a little bit cleaner from my fussy cutting and I popped, the, you know, my frame and the white llama on foam tape because I wanted him to appear like he was in the front. I, I didn't want him and the red llama to appear like they were next to each other, if that makes sense at all. Um, my inspiration for this card was to kind of have him photobombing the photo. <laughs> Like the photographer was trying to get the red llama and then all of a sudden this goofy white llama pops up. I don't know. It's so stinging cute. That's immediately what I thought of when I um, chose this stamp set to use. It's just cute. And I knew I had this Polaroid frame. I have to get some more of those or the die cut that, that cuts them out because it's so cute. So I went ahead and added some twine, I um, some black and white twine. I didn't tie a bow. I just tied a knot and then trimmed it close to the knot. And then I add a few black sequins. And then that completes this card. Really cute. Here is Jamie's card again. Of course, I will include links to her shop and links to the products I used. So definitely go check her out. And remember, there is a 10% off coupon code. If you, uh, the code is crazy paper chick, you can get 10% off. And that is good as long as I'm a design team member. I've had that question asked to me several times. So please go check out her shop. She does get in the new releases. She has a great selection of products and stay tuned for next Wednesday so you can see what I'm going to do with this stamp set and I will catch you guys later. Bye.